Well, we did it. We predicted last week, earlier this week actually, that there would be an update for No Man's Sky this week, and as it turns out, we were right. There was in fact an update, and I'm going to go ahead and break that thing down for you today. Break down the latest update for No Man's Sky called the Endurance Update. I want to talk about the features that it has and some of the things that I'm most excited about about the update and the things that I love the most. And I'll tell you, this has been a pretty good update, and I really do enjoy it. I'm glad that we got it because it is very, very nice. And I just want to talk to you real quick about the things and the features and the things that are included in this update because it is a pretty big deal in my opinion. First thing I want to talk about is you get new improved freighters. The hangar looks a lot better, okay? The imp- the overall look of the freighter, the feel, the aesthetic, it's very, very good. To my knowledge, the freighters haven't really had, mu- had much love since the foundation update where they were introduced. And can I just say also that walking into the hangar the way you do is just so much better. For, or walking into the bridge, rather, from the hangar is just so much better, but... Freighters as a whole get these huge bases now. Uh, you get to hire in crew members. You can manufacture things inside the freighters. There's better plants. And that you get add exterior sections to your freighter. You don't know how excited I am about this to be able to look outside in space on my freighter and to be able to see what's going on. I've really wanted for a long time to build a nice base on my freighter and use that to travel around space as just something that's really cool. And so the, now that they've added this sort of as a feature where you can build these awesome bases with pretty vistas and views and different things like that, it's really, really, really cool that uh, you can that this is now in here. Now, they've also added some combat missions into the Nexus, so that's a pretty cool little deal. But you just got some more combat missions things to do. But a really the big part of this update is the changes to freighters. Now, they also changed the way you interact with your crew and the way that you interact with your uh, fleet of frigates because, the, you know, before the way you did it was through the uh, little desk, the little menus. Nowadays, you, can still, you still use those menus, but the bridge is different, and it just changed up the way that things interact. The way that missions work, the rewards are different. Right now, you can actually get a living frigate. So if you look on, uh, you know, like uh, there's a couple of guides on YouTube already. I'll make one if you want me to. But uh, basically, you complete one of the harder missions with your frigates. You just like a three-star mission that's fairly long, three or four hours, whatever. Um, then uh, you get the mater- the blueprint, usually, typically, to get a research, a living freighter. And then you go through the process. You build it. And then you take and go and... Um, track it down in space you have this long conversation with a pretty cool process but uh you know overall just not not a nice little addition to living freighters it's something that you can collect sort of like how they had the living ships and the different things like that so that's pretty neat they also added uh, they changed asteroids where they added where there's literally thousands of them in one place it's not like it has been where there's just a few dozen at a time now there can literally be hundreds or thousands of them on your screen at one time literally just asteroids everywhere there's new kinds of asteroids new looks so it might be a good idea on a brand new save to just get up into space in your radiant pillar and blast asteroids for an hour or two and just collect some platinum and some gold just to kind of get you a little bit of a starting money a little bit of a pocket change if you will and then you can focus on making some more money with some other guides and uh, you know of course i've made videos about that in the past but you can uh, focus on making money in some other methods after you get that little bit of pocket change so really nice touch really nice feature you know now we have like a in certain solar systems, you'll have asteroid belt type places where there's just thousands and thousands of asteroids, and uh, just really, really pretty. Adds a lot of you know nice look to it. There's also new uh, black hole interstellar style black holes. There's nebula and space atmospherics, and I'm not really sure about what the space atmospherics are. We're just gonna have to get. Um, I'm pretty sure there's just like a weather type thing in space, like space weather. But we'll just have to see how that goes and see exactly what it is. And so it's a very, very pretty, and you can also, because you can now build your freighter, you can park your freighter next to a planet, look out the window down to the planet's surface, look around, you know, out into space. That's just really cool touches. They added the windows and the spacewalks and stuff on the freighters. You also can scan planets from your freighter, so that's really, really nice. You don't have to fly down to the, you know, to the surface anymore. You can kind of scan uh, from space, can scan and analyze planets from space, and, uh, it cut, should cut down on the amount of landing on this planet, realizing it doesn't have what you need and going away. Hopefully, if it's introduced in the way that I think it will be. But uh, that is basically the majority of the update. They have uh, the Polestar Expedition that's coming up soon. They've got a new Twitch Drops campaign. And uh, they've released some merchandise. Uh, 
there's like some merch and stuff. Also, uh, it launches on No Man's or on No Man's Sky. It launches on Nintendo Switch on October seventh. So that'll be really really good. You can pre-order that now. But uh, overall, that is what the update entails. Oh, well, yeah, you can also teleport onto your freighters now or teleport uh, through the bridge of the freighter, which is a nice touch. But overall, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to subscribe, drop a like, let me know what I can do better in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video. Tell me what your favorite feature of this update is in the comments. If you've watched this far, just do me a favor. Go ahead and tell me what your favorite feature is, and uh, I'll tell you what mine is. And, of course, you know mine is probably the base building on freighters. Look forward to a freighter base building guide very, very soon. Thank you. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.